Hi, my name is Robin. Um, I work here at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium. I'm one of the sea lion trainers here. Um, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about why we train sea lions. Um, so we do it for three main reasons. Uh, the big reasons are for husbandry. It helps us take better care of the sea lions. We do it for enrichment and we also do it for education. We can actually talk to the public about our sea lions. Like I said, one of the most important ones being husbandry. It allows us to do things like check out their teeth, allows us to do stuff like brush their teeth to maintain good dental health. We can also look at various parts of their body in order to make sure that everything is okay. Over. Good. Our sea lions here are actually trained to participate in vaccinations. So we will have them present to us and we can actually give them a vaccine. We usually give it right about here. <laughs> Good. Uh, they are also trained for blood draws. Come here. Where we will actually put them in this position and draw blood from in between uh, their toes on their back flippers. Good. They can also participate in their own respiratory and cardio health. Um, as far as we can have them blow, so we can listen to their lungs. If we think that they have any sort of sinus infection or anything like that, we can have them also do that blowing and we can do it onto a Petri dish and see uh, what sort of bacteria might be growing. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, we can also have them breathe into an anesthesia cone and participate in their own um, anesthetic procedures. The other reasons that we train, like I said, uh, one is for enrichment. And training for these sea lions um, can be fun and engaging for them. It can also help them practice things that they would normally do in the wild. One of the things that they will do in the wild is a behavior called jugging, uh, where they will actually lift a flipper out of the water while they're swimming and use that to help either cool or heat their bodies. Natural behaviors like scratching we can practice. Good. Another reason, like I said, is for educational purposes. It lets us teach the public about sea lions, why they're important, and also helps us teach people the differences between seals and sea lions as well. You see how you feel? Good. Smile. When we train behaviors, um, we do a couple of different things, but we do have um, cues. So they could either be hand or they can be verbal cues. Uh, some of our sea lions actually do know things just by saying the word to them. So but a lot of them are actual physical hand cues for them. Most behaviors start out with a simple target and then can develop from there. So we can do a target here and then eventually teach them to bend backwards. Good, which then becomes bend. Obviously, after they do a behavior correctly, we use positive reinforcement. So we use their diet. Um, they will do a proper behavior and then we will give them a fish. So every type of training we do here at the Pittsburgh Zoo is uh, operant conditioning using positive reinforcement. And we always want our training sessions um, to always uh, be something that they find to be enjoying. We always want them to be positive. Yeah, isn't that right? Yeah. Good. Smile. How about just smile? Thank you. Good. Um, our sea lions um, have a bridge, so in between asking the behavior, them doing the behavior, and then getting the reinforcement, they will have a bridge. Good. We tend to use a verbal bridge of good, but they also um, we can use a bridge of a whistle as well. And oftentimes when we're training a new behavior, we actually will use a whistle. Good. Because the whistle tends to be a little bit more precise than a verbal. Target. Good. Other animals you will see that they can use either uh, clickers, whistles, or verbals as well for their bridge. And all that is, is basically letting them know they've done the behavior correctly and that reinforcement is coming.
Uh, so some of the behaviors that we do, um, they seem like that they're for fun, but they're actually stuff that they would do in the wild. Um, these uh, sea lions in the wild would have to hunt their own prey. Um, one good example of this is their whisker behavior. So if we do this, they could flare out those whiskers. Um, and those whiskers are very, very sensitive. They attach to a lot of nerve endings in the face and they can flare those whiskers out and help them to feel vibrations of fish swimming in the uh, water. Even if they're hunting in very murky conditions, um, they will still be able to hunt and find fish. Even if they were to go blind in the wild, they can still hunt and find fish and survive.